Hey guys, Fox here gonna bring you another one versus one. This is a beta matchup between Chains, a fellow shoutcaster. He requested me to cast this game and I'm more than happy to. He will be playing as Americans in the North. He's a level 16 player, I believe across the board, so he definitely knows what he is doing. He also has his own YouTube channel if you want to go check that out. I do have it advertised in my channel. He probably also is a better caster and has a better analyzation of the game as he is a better player than me and he'll be playing against uh, Pearl Lictor Pure Lictor um, hope I'm saying that right he'll be playing Vermok down in the south position his level is 10 however it's only about 30 games 30 ranked games so I don't know if this is a smurf account or he's just um, knocking up the ranks really quick so he probably plays a lot better than a level 10 does giving chains a good game so I'm gonna get this game started right away from these five second marks starting in three two one play six seven eight nine ten so I want to just point out some noticeable changes in Langris. Um there is this hedgerow up north it actually has a hole in it now so you can uh, go through there easier and it won't choke the northern player so much into his base and this fence right here also um, used to be a stone wall it's kind of in an L shape so now it only provides yellow cover compared to green cover and it looks like both players are going to be opening up with their barracks um, all the re what was it called all the Vermont buffs were reverted except one. I think it was the MG. I can't remember exactly, but uh, like everything was cheaper. The MG, the Volks Grenadiers. Volks Grenadiers have an accuracy buff that was also reverted. Um, and all that was just changed back to normal except the MG, which is 260 manpower to 250 manpower. I hope that's correct. If I am wrong, please somebody go ahead and comment and say, no, 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 this is what blah, blah, blah. But I'm pretty sure that was right. Chains is going to have two engineers uh, capping pretty normally and that rifleman down the middle. Looks like our Vermont player will be opening up with an MG first. Um, not getting any Volksgrandiers yet, however, he probably doesn't have the manpower. So it, he needs to be careful with this MG. It could all uh, be a huge deciding factor if this rifleman catches the MG out of position like now if it was to run on this MG that would suck hard instantly losing that battle or freak that's a good flank um, however the riflemen are nowhere near and he's keeping his MG back which is a smart move uh, back near his base and he could go the other way if the MG does catch the riflemen and suppresses them he automatically wins the first fight however they're not going to be engaging anytime soon as you can tell they're pretty far apart oh actually opening with two MG's that's interesting so really needs to um, watch where these riflemen are let the pioneers spot them out a little bit and be very aware babysit these MG's and here it is he's automatically winning this first fight because he did catch that rifleman in uh, his fire arc of fire there now gonna move the MG quickly which is a very good move because chains will automatically know okay there is an MG right there and he knows where to flank it but once he moves those MG's shifts them around Chains will not know where they are and he's going to move them in the middle so he see if it, he can catch Chains off guard once again going to do a push however he does cap that middle v, uh, strategic point so he knows there's an MG there however going to check the fog of war he doesn't see the second MG that is set up that is covering that so that could be playing a little baiting right there and it could say oh free MG just capping out there I'm going to go go for it however Chains is a high level player let's see if he takes the bait or not it looks like he might be going to run to this MG fire and yes runs to the MG fire in the middle of the road and force retreat once again second rifle squad luckily um, not getting suppressed so he does have good rifle spread here not blobbing them together and getting them all uh, suppressed at once to see a lot of low level players do that and looks up like here on the top left a little engagement between engineers and pioneers uh, fighting over this uh, fuel point however Volksgrandiers are going to turn that fight around and force Chains to retreat uh, you realize Chains is retreating so quickly and that's a great move minimizing damage don't need to take extra damage lose a guy every manpower counts and now uh, it's actually throwing a rifleman onto the left side here to ha uh, help maintain that left side map control because that he does have a plus 10 fuel here but he's also just kept 
the plus 10 fuel on the right side and we have a bike out for the Vermont player and that is a great move because uh, they're not strong against riflemen but they're a great scouting unit and they're gonna provide the intel for these MG's uh, to help them counter any type of flanking and up here in the north barely almost uh, suppressing uh, flanking this MG however the MG does set up just in time and it's gonna tear up these rifle squads terribly he needs to retreat this rifleman chains you're so good at retreating probably busy over here in the top left as there's quite an engagement rifleman now popping bars this is what chains needs he can take those MGs not head on but at least be able to do a little more damage and MG once again this is great MG play by the Vermont player flanking these guys here and in the middle we have another MGC not set up He's, it may get ran on here he's an engineer flanking from the right and rifleman on the left good spread right there he realizes that and is gonna back out of there great move by chains it's oh no he might lose the bike does have a damaged engine loses the bike that is unfortunate because that will that was giving him key intel to where where uh, those riflemen were and he does get a flamethrower upgrade on his engineers so that's going to help him when he get closes in onto those MGs it's going to force a much quicker flank uh, retreat on those MGs and allow him to cap the map a lot faster and here's an MG setting up the middle needs to move this rifleman quickly and it's, it fires and retreats great retreat there change is so reactive he is so quick I'm loving it and here in the top left, uh, MG, so let's see the position of this MG. So you got one MG covering the left side. Oh, and a mine. Forced to retreat, so Chains is constantly retreating, going in of, into his base, coming out of his base, into his base, out of his base. He's got to be very quick. As Vermont players, a very quick game. Also has to react. Uh, setting up his MG, shifting them all over the place. I already love this game. Thank you, Chains, for sending me this. This is really entertaining. And, uh, oh, my manages to steal a bar uh, from the ground and then retreating Volks Grenadiers and now Chains finally has dislodged this MG from the left side and he can finally move up uh, we have three MG's from the Vermont player I don't see any teching from either player yet putting uh, a lot into tier one as they have been both doing a lot of damage and they haven't found that exact window to tech up spend those resources teching up I'm going to look at the tack map now. It uh, doesn't look like MGs are set up yet, so Chains really wants to take advantage of this. Start capping, start pushing forward slightly, and we, now we have all the MGs moving out. Two MGs moving out, probably going to go in that building. Um, unless Chains can react fast enough, see the MG, and um, take the building. However, he is moving away, moving north. Um, he does realize the MG is going in there now, and oh man, MG was set up in the south to prevent uh, rifles dancing around this house or any uh, silly micro like that and forces him away so I've never seen MG play like this before this is really cool um, now medic is being set up medic bunker or just a bunker I don't know if it's a medic bunker however I'm, that's what I'm guessing it's gonna be uh, set up near the plus 16 chain so far has claimed a map control at the moment however it's been changing quite a bit he has an MG set up already here to counter that rifle squad up left maybe baited by this folks around deer squad and yes it is getting going to be suppressed and quick retreat once again here in the middle looks like chains is uh, moving out of his base there is an MG set up though he's constantly shifting MG's is gonna keep chains guessing to where they are however chains being the high level player he is spreading his rifleman once again you can see this one rifleman going to the right so only one gets suppressed and the one on the left can do their flanking he even has two flaming engineers way far to the right and this flank should be successful um, it's it's gonna take quite a bit here uh, MG is trying to reset up and it does however it's very low on health engineers are coming in should be able to brute force through this and burn burn the MG focus firing the MG takes it out can he steal this MG the MG is now laid there if he takes the MG it's gonna be huge it's gonna allow him to establish a more stationary defense um, I think he's trying to keep his squads there just for a little bit longer perhaps no so that MG is still there anybody it c anybody could grab it um, both players probably know this and might want to desperately get a unit over there to quickly grab that as that can be game changing uh, an MG is going to set up near that uh, lone MG 42 that can be claimed so change will not be able to grab that at the moment unless he can get rid of this MG this single MG here 
He has three rifle squads now coming out. Gonna check the tech for both players. I haven't seen anything from a Vermont player yet. We have a supply yard out for chains and the triad center set up in his base next to his HQ. So any retreating units will instantly get killed. Here in the left, uh, a flanking rifle squad to spot anything. Uh, um, Vermont players setting up mines was setting up mines. I don't see it there anymore. But that would have been helpful for any type of flanking since this is very narrow. Uh, Chain's able to stick our... Oh man, they're getting suppressed. However, he might just try to crawl over behind this hedgerow or into that building. And now we have a big push from the right. However, the MG is not... Is slightly picking... Suppressing those squads. Barely reaching that. And he, that's going to allow him to adjust. And he does take the second MG. So Chains will not be able to get that. And this is a great time for the Vermont player. They have two MGs in the middle. And here in the middle, um, trying to brute force through this MG, actually getting a good flank on it, may kill one. There's just so much fighting with all these MGs. The MGs are the meat of his army. Manages to kill one. Uh, two MGs here trying to desperately uh, micro them to, to suppress all these squads. You may not be able to kill them, but if you can suppress them, hold them off back enough, he can bring in. That will buy him time to bring in reinforcements. And in the meantime, his middle strategic points actually cut off right now. So he is not getting any resources from the right side, and reinforcements have arrived, however is it enough? Pioneer squads, uh, very weak with the flamethrower upgrade, forces one rifle squad to retreat, and looks like MGs will hold this, and Chains is forced to retreat. What a amazing play there by with the MGs. Chains still hanging on though, 474 to 450, it still could be any games, and looks like air reconnaissance from uh, Chains, so that's what he needs. He needs the intel of where the hell are these MGs. He needs to know so he can flank them in a strafing run, but the strafing run does not kill anybody, so that's unfortunate. 150 mun munitions down the drain. Um, really trying to get out of those, uh, get those MGs there. Um, I would, in my opinion, get a, a jeep so it can scout for him uh, it can also flank lone MG's out here if he can't get the flank at least he got the intel he knows where it's at and then he can do the initial flanking with his rifle squads and engineers now going to come out and reclaim this middle that's what he desperately needs there is a mine set up here however uh, pioneers um, standing right in the middle of the road chain should know there is a mine there and shouldn't step on it however he's getting very close probably didn't notice that he's gonna step on this mine no he didn't step on the mine wow uh, I swear the guy was about to step on it but uh, we do have blitz from um, our Vermont player so the infantry is gonna be great uh, he has Shrek squads out just uh, precaution in case chains does decide to go for any vehicles bars have been out for a while so you won't be seeing any uh, motor pull out and probably going to tech straight to tier 4 and yes he does have a tank depot in his base and it looks like uh, Roma player is slowly making this push chains haven't hasn't been able to find the perfect window for these MGs he's have a good spread but not enough it's just not enough just yet uh, engineers you can see are going to hug the very far right side of the map however the Vermont player should be able to see this I think uh, no just engineers going to hide behind the building uh, which hides them from any type of cover um, probably may go in this building. I don't agree with that because that allows. Well, he is going to burn up those. That's a long range for those uh, flamethrower, and he does force one squad to retreat. So my mistake. Great job, chains, and only let's see here. Only one MG in the middle, so flanking is a possibility. There's one engineer far off to the right here in the bottom left corner. It looks like an engagement. Trying to cap that plus 10 fuel over there. However, there's just too many squads going to force them uh, to retreat, hopefully. However, they're getting tore up as there's a fight in the middle. Chains is watching. MG not in position, getting flanked, and that's what he needs. A flank. Uh, force that MG out of there so he can win this fight, and he does. Going to reclaim uh, map control in the middle, but can he hold on to it? Um, there is an MG in the middle setting up, and cha right now chain squads are blobbed together. If this MG can't suppress them all, that is going to be a win, and the MG is now firing, getting suppression on one engineer squad, and probably going to suppress the other one. Strafing run. Oh man, only doing uh, killing two guys. It is very weak MG, so he may be able to brute force through this MG. It is losing health, but he decides not to, forces all his squads to retreat. Unfortunately, that one MG preventing uh, chains to really establish map con middle map control. He does the. Uh, Managed to decap that middle VP. 
so that'll stop the VPs slightly as as I believe that once this game starts getting uh, near the end those VP tickets will definitely count in a very in the end <laughs> will count will be very desperate very key to winning this game and now he's gonna go for the strategic point once again uh, gonna cut him off from this right side plus 10 and plus 10 munitions but chains uh, manages to get rid of that. Needs to spread out his squads here. Uh, are there any MGs set up? No, one MG is coming up. He does have a rifle squad coming in from the left side to flank any MG that is ready for him. And oh man, hits a mine. Hits another mine. Lots of mines here. Great placement by the Vermont player. He does flank. Uh, does not flank an MG, but it allows the bulk of his army to get that great flank on the MG. And now he looks like he will push out the Vermont player. Wow, awesome. Chains now able to reclaim the middle. Are there any MGs though, like the last engagement? No, there are not, so he should be able to take it now. And we have a Sherman out for Chains. This uh, is going to be huge. Do we have a counter from him? No, he actually has a Panzer Command, so we may see like a heavy infantry to heavy tank fights. We only have one Shrek squad as he did go Blitz. However, I don't think that's going to be enough. If the MGs can suppress the s suppress the rifle squads and allow the uh, Shrek squad to do its thing against the tank, I believe he has a chance. However, the tank itself can do quite a bit of damage to uh, taking on one Shrek squad. So here it looks like he's um, firing at the ground, maybe believes there's a mine there, I'm not entirely sure. But we do have the Vermont player reinforcing now. A little lull into uh, the fighting. I'm going to do a quick time synchronization. 15 minutes, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 16 minutes. Our chain does build another rifleman. I don't think he lost any rifleman. However, I may have missed it. I do miss quite a few things. And this uh, Sherman will actually be able to brute force any MGs if he really needs to. If he gets into serious trouble. Here up north, some riflemen uh, doing probably going to go for that plus 10 fuel. And we have a Panzer out for the Vermont player. So this is really like a mirror matchup. Uh, infantry, lots of infantry followed by a quick uh, tech to tanks. And so one Panzer and one Sherman. Um, I think Chains is a little bit at a disadvantage here just because his only counter against this tank is the Sherman, at least so far from what I see. He did go airborne. He is getting a weapon support center. Um, not going to help him against the tank though. And here in the middle, actually hitting a mine, so damaged engine. Let's So Chains does know there's a Panzer on the field. He could call an airborne, however that's a lot of manpower, doesn't have it yet. Uh, he does have 300 and... 20 manpower, so perhaps he's saving up for that, and 61 munitions. So by the time he gets the airborne squad, if he does, he may have uh, may get recoilless rifles, which are very strong against uh, the Panzer, the pa the tanks, any type of vehicles really. And here comes a push from the middle. Uh, Sherman gonna shoot away one Volk squad, so that does allow him to say, oh, here's an initial push, allow him to set up his MG and shoot away chains. Chains isn't gonna engage that though wisely as he has a flank from the right side let's see if his MG does reset up and then a uh, push with his engineers here in the middle he is spreading out his rifleman rifleman go in that going to go into that building which is going to allow him some uh, some sight to see where all these squads are he has one oh here gonna go in the south uh, two Volksgrandeers taking on a rifle squad uh, that's gonna feed that medic bunker actually and here we have a tank battle going on and the sh uh, Blix Stormtroopers were camels, so Chains was not able to take that, uh, realize that it was there, and unfortunately loses his tank rifle squads in the building, not going to manage to do anything. Uh, he does call in an AT gun, where's that AT gun at? Calls in the AT gun, uh, it is not facing the correct way yet. He does have stickies, throwing stickies on there. Remember, it has a damaged engine earlier from uh, the mine, and now the AT gun can go to work. MG trying to desperately suppress these rifle squads to prevent any more stickies going on the tank. However, he kills the MG, and now he's going to claim that MG as his, as he quickly know realizes that reinforcements are going to come out for the Vermont player. If he gets this MG, 
he can suppress them. However, he's not going to grab the MG, making me sound very bad. And going to go for this tank instead. May try to get one more sticky on it and just should kill the Panzer. He knows this may, should be able to throw it over the Hedro. Still desperately trying to get it. However, squads are coming in with an LMG 42, which are great against infantry. As long as you're not moving, they can start firing that. This AT gun's going to try to adjust. However, there is a squad coming in from the north that is going to prevent that. And uh, he may just try to go for a kill, kill the 